now. Bach alloglycine. Um, NBS. NBS makes the bromonium ion here, uh, which then gets opened. Oh. See your name? Yep. It's kind of a neat reaction. I was really proud of that um, because I'm not like I'm not like good at synthetic organic chemistry, but like I was like, fuck yeah, that's rad. You know what I mean? Like it's good and it works good. So okay. Anyway, we call this um, the Bach bromolactone. And um, probably what you would do is um, um, take the adenosyl thing. So that's a pretty bad drawing of it. <laughs> um, oops. It's actually protected on sulfur, but we take it off, but take that protecting group off in the reaction mixture. So then you would alkylate um, the thing, and then you're you're st and then you're starting to build what you might remember as the JKR structure. Uh oh. See what I mean? And that sulfur linker has stereochemistry, right? Uh, there is stereochemistry um, at this position and this position. So okay. the original one is set by the alloglycine. Yeah. Um, and then the second one is, oh, it, this ring is cis. So they both get set here. At, they both get set here. Okay. Yeah. And then, of course, the adenosine has fixed stereochemistry, but that's just because we buy it. Um, so then what you would do would be to debock. Uh, Bach is acid. right. Bach comes off an acid. And then you would add um, your electrophile um, either as the acid with a coupling reagent or as the acid chloride to the liberated um, nitrogen. Okay. Yeah. That's how I think it would go. Yeah. So you could probably, um, it, I mean, I think it would be a bad idea to, show the synthesis, show everything you're planning on doing, if, if space permitting, right? Mm -hmm. So if you can make a scheme showing this, that would be good. And then like a scheme about like how you'll evaluate it. And then for the, oh, sorry. For the electrophiles, how many should I like think of? How many options? I would, I would go by um that other quorum sensing paper that you that you have would the malleamid even work because it's 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 big for our purposes I, I doubt it i doubt it um i think that's too big isothiocyanate probably could yeah work. i think what you what you could do would be that okay that they're similar right yeah. this one's actually easier to make <laughs> right um with the 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 acrylamide as opposed to the, just this michael acceptor um and then the isothiocyanate 
think if you just propose those, that'd be a great set. They're all kind of linear. You know what I mean? This yeah. is by far the best one in terms of mimicking the, the tail. Uh, but. Cool. Yeah. So um, this one then would, of course, come from um, probably GABA, GABA amino um, butyric acid, right? Which is four, then you're adding one, two, three. You know, do you see what I'm saying? Because you mm -hmm. want it to be eight total. Eight so total. actually it, would, it wouldn't be GABA, it would be one more. It would be, so then it would be one, two, three, four, Oh, no, this is perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, eight. Seven, eight right? This one would be a little bit different. And then this one, um, you, I'll leave it up to you to see how to make isothiocyanates. Okay, I'll do my, I'll try and figure that out. There's good methods to do it. You could even just look and see how they did it in that Jack's paper with the receptor. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So let me go back to your thing. I think, um, but yeah, I mean, I think, and what I would do if I were you is just start writing and then worry about making it conform to your the limitations later. Okay. Once you have something, it's very easy to change it. The problem is, is people sometimes don't start because they want it to just like be born perfect. And it's like, that's never going to happen. So just start, right? Just get it, get it out. And then you'll change it later and it'll get better. Okay. I'll send you the draft after this. You can like destroy it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there's no destroying yet. It's sort of more like, at this point, it's more like, just a little bit of like, just guidance, I think, more than anything. Um, I'm gonna open up yours right now, Emily. Do you mind if I share with everybody? I don't care. You're so easy to make mistakes. Secret. Oh, okay, let's see. Oh, this is very nice. Oh, look at you, you have a lot of stuff. Oh my God. You can't see what I'm Oh, I wanna see this now. I just verbalized our PowerPoint a little bit, or I tried to, I just. That's great. Okay, let me share it. I'm glad these are your first thoughts, because I was really proud of that. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know if you can see the oh, comments. Really? comments there. Who, who are these comments from? Are these from they're, you? They're mine, yeah. Questions. Things that, like, where the dot, dot, dots are, like, maybe we can talk about this more, because I don't know. Yeah. Well, the one thing that I can tell you that I just said this to Beth too, is I think your very, your very first figure should um, serve to show the system. So it should be here. You should have, you need to have a figure one here. Gotcha. Um, for sure. And I think like Beth, we just talked about this before you, before you got here, because she just stayed after class. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the next thing that you should do um, is, I see you're talking about Vibrio fisheri. I think that's good. I, I would move this later because nobody really wants to inhibit quorum sensing in Vibrio fisheri because the output of quorum sensing is benign, right? It's just, it just makes light. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, what I would do then 
it's fine to use Vibrio fischeri as like an example of an of a real bacteria that does this. It was in fact the first one, so it's a good choice. Um, So we can put like that chart there with the with the bacteria and the behaviors like the chart Beth and I made or not? Yeah, you could do you could do that if you wanted to. And then I would actually um, in the text you could you could talk in detail about Vibrio Fisher, right? That's good. It's just like this is like how the system works and everything. And then do one example of a pathogen because what that does for you is um, you can then say, this is like almost, this is like just an, a very important thing for your readers to know uh, that therefore quorum sensing is a drug, um, I'll use the French word target, right? <laughs> I am in a weird mood today. I apologize. You could tell I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that is then the transition to the to really sort of thinking about actual projects that we work on, right? Then it's like, oh, okay. So you want to inhibit this system. We here's an example. So you that that's why talking about inhibitors at all, you need to establish that it's a drug target. Then yes, talk about this. That's great in detail. This is very nice. Mm -hmm. Then, yes, great. Then you're talking about Wait. the other, the other target. Yeah. The That's one great. Beth used in Chimera. Oh yeah. Oh, do you need the let the? No, Sorry. I just forgot what it was called because I can pull it up too. I just didn't know what the name of it was. Oh. What are you, what are you talking about? I, the I didn't know if that was like the chlorolactone or like what exactly that was. Did it was compound make, 25. That? No. Okay. No. I just copied and pasted. I, I mean, yeah, I did. I used Chimera. <laughs> no. Chimera is not my jam yet, but I will figure it out. But yeah, Beth, what was that that you made in Chimera? It was um, the structure of compound 25 from the PowerPoint bound to uh, the synthase. Which, what, what are you talking about right now? The chimera structure we showed in our presentation. I didn't know if they uh, had it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop sharing. So I think my, my upshot, I'll send this, I'll send this back to you, but it's, I think, um, whoops, hold on. I think that you are going to be able to use all of the figures you made and you'll, you're going to change the words, but I think, I think the idea is, I think you're on the right track. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 With, with that important transition in the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. The whole, you want to, you want to teach your reader the system. You want to convince them that it's a drug target. You need those two things for our project to make any sense. Okay. Yeah. And you'll be able to get that from, if you reread like the introduction to the Blackwell review, I have a feeling that's exactly what she does in that paper. In the Blackwell paper? Yeah. And this is like, a smaller detail, but like citing stuff, is this in the in the long run, is this paper gonna be like a specific format like MLA or EPA? I'm assuming APA because it's BSC. What do you use for your do you have a citation manager? Get Zotero. Oh yeah. Zotero, Zotero done... is free and it's really pretty easy. Um, oh. I I think I could probably even give you my library, which has all the papers you're gonna need. Um 
it's very it's very easy to use. Okay. Because I have to start like getting some citations together, at least for Jamie. So I just wasn't sure like how to. Yeah. Do you want me to show you how, how Zotero works and how wonderful it is? That would be really awesome, actually. Yeah, let's do it. I got to go soon because I'm getting my coronavirus test. Oh, um, yeah. 1.30. Um, oh, wait. Got mine yesterday. I'm cleared. Good. <laughs> Good. Oh, wait. Uh, what's happening right now? Just stop. Sure. <laughs> okay. Let me just open... Zotero and like a paper that has Zotero citations in it. Um, okay. Okay, can you see the paper? Mm -hmm. So um, this uh, this uh, is what Zotero does automatically, right? So I'll, I'll, I'm going to insert a dummy reference and then I'm going to take it out, right? Okay. So I'll also maybe add a reference to Zotero, which is pretty rad. You probably can't see this window now. That's a problem. I can't change it. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do that. So um, let's say um, I'm going to... Um, it's, uh, it's messing up because I need to move. Okay, Zotero, add citation. And then um, I, if I know what it is, like I'll say um, Swem, who is the first author on that old CBIR paper, then I can just click on it and hit, see how it says citation in brackets here? Mm -hmm. Then I hit return. And it like puts it there. Now it's here, right? Citation four, you see what mm -hmm. I mean? And now if I go to the bottom of my thing, citation four is that paper. Like it does it all for you. Wow. Yeah, it's really nice. So I'm going to really take that true. out because I don't want that there, but I don't <laughs> want to forget. Um, it's also a plugin extension on Chrome. So if you have like a PDF up, like if you're like from like Journal Medicinal Chemistry or something, you can press the Zotero button and it'll save it to a folder. Yeah. So I like do that all the time. So if I'm on, you've been on PubMed before, Emily? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you're on PubMed and you're like, you find a quorum sensing paper, like let's say you go to PubMed and you find, and you just type in Helen Blackwell and you find her review paper and you want to cite that in your paper, you just hit the Zotero thing and it adds it to your library. Then you can add it from your library to your document. Okay. It's sweet. Okay. I'm very working on my technological literacy. Um, yeah. So I might need a rundown. I can help meet you. one day just to figure out how to do that. Yeah. I can, Not I now. Can help you. Yeah. Okay. It's easy. Um, but I, I would recommend what you could do is, um, download Zotero and why don't you just for practice, um, start building your library of references. I don't even know what it's called in Zotero. Maybe it's a live, maybe it's not called a library, but go on PubMed and why don't you find those first six papers that are in our research group folder and just okay. add them into Zotero, right? So when okay. you're in Chrome, you, if you're in Chrome and you search PubMed, there will be a little button up on the right and it says add to Zotero and you just do it. And then it adds it, all the information. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have to go, unfortunately. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. But I think uh, I think you're I think you're both in really good um, I think you're in both in good um, shape. Cool. And then Monday we'll talk about our group presentation that we've started talking about already as a group. Yeah. So what I would yeah I would recommend um, yeah definitely get together with um, 
Naya and Lindsay and get that sorted out. And I would, if I, I would, and then involve me, right? So at some point I want to see it. And then it would be great if that happens with enough time that if I have recommendations, we, you can change it and then even do it, practice it one more time. Okay. Okay. Thumbs up. And yeah, maybe that last practice, maybe the second practice can be Monday at noon. Okay. Okay. Can you send me this recording? Yes, I will do that. Thank well. you. <laughs> All right. All right. I got to go. Bye, uh, Bye. Good nice luck. talking to you. I'll see you later. You too. See ya.